Packing up their boxes and their voices, the family of John Trey Hamilton is on their way to Washington. The trip comes just after the one-year anniversary of Don Trey's shooting death in Red Arrow Park. The family participating in this year's Million Moms March. Jonah Kaplan reports. This is the shirt the group will wear this weekend in Washington. It says, Justice for Don Trey Hamilton. Obviously, all the supporters want to make this one of the central uniting causes. But Maria Hamilton, Don Trey's mother, will say, it's a feeling that's inside that unites everyone. She's still a mom who lost a son. They packed up their signs, their bags, and their boxes. Their heaviest luggage, however, might be their voices. It starts in Washington. They make the laws. They make the legislation for uh, how the police is actually policing us. Former MPD officer Christopher Manny shot and killed Dontre Hamilton last year in Red Arrow Park. Maria Hamilton will now spend her second Mother's Day without him. She's headed to D.C. to join other grieving mothers. These are young men that at some point could have been leaders in the United States, and they don't have that option anymore because their lives were stolen. The first Million Moms March took place 15 years ago with a focus on gun control. Hamilton says this march is about more than gun control. We don't need the weapons in our neighborhood. They say there's too many guns on the street, but y'all can roll in our neighborhood with trucks, armor trucks. I asked organizers about the itinerary to see if they're going to visit any other places, like Baltimore, which is just an hour up the road from D.C. They said no, but they expect a lot of people from Baltimore to join them in their march this weekend. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah, thanks. Organizers said they raised more than $15,000 to cover the trip for the group. They'll return on Sunday. Today